Have you ever gone to the bathroom in the pool? Have you ever left dirty dishes in your bedroom for over a week? Have you ever eaten salted watermelon? So what is that? Hey guys, it's Kayla and Tyler from We Are The Aces and today we are going to be doing a Never Have I Ever Summer Edition because summer has just started and we want to try to do Never Have I Ever again because it was really fun last time, we haven't done it in a while. So our mom has a bunch of questions for us and we have to either say I have or I have never based on if we have or not. All right, here's the icebreaker. Have you ever worn PJs in public and pretended they were regular clothes? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I pretended they were regular clothes or if I just didn't care. Yeah. Them. I have worn PJs in public, definitely, but I don't know if I pretended they were normal clothes. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say the same thing, but I'm gonna do that for that because I'm like half the question. <laughs> so. like, yeah. Have you ever lost part of your swimsuit while swimming? I don't think I have. I have. Whenever I do diving, my pants usually fall off. <laughs> so weird. Most of my bathing suits have ties in the back, so they'll come untied and I have to tie them again, but I've never lost anything. So I have never. Have you ever gone to the bathroom in the pool? <laughs> Who hasn't? Well, the hot tub, not the pool. <laughs> it goes in the into the pool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Comment down below if you have ever gone to the restroom in the pool. And if you say, I never, we know you're lying. <laughs> Everyone has. Have you ever peeled a sunburn and enjoyed it? I've never peeled a sunburn. Well, it was nice. <laughs> In Destin, Florida, we went to the beach and it was really hot, so I took off my shirt and I put on sunblock, but apparently sunblock doesn't work for me. I just dropped my sign, but that's fine. And <laughs> what? I did put on sunblock. The next day, I was like super peely and everyone was peeling off dead skin. Not me! Well, yeah. <laughs> and that's gross! His dad had to carry Kayla all over the dead skin because he yeah. dropped it on the floor. Yeah, no one would clean up the dead skin on the floor, so I had dad carry me over the hallway so I could get to my bedroom. Gross! <laughs> that's why you guys always see him in clothes. We get lots of comments about that. We do? Yeah, they ask, always ask, why is Tyler wearing a shirt when he's swimming? Oh. And it's because it's called a rash guard. It's not a shirt. It's part of a bathing suit so that he can protect his skin. It's because he's part Irish. I am too, but I didn't get like most of the Irish jeans. He did. Yeah, I, got, I got most of the Irish jeans. He got the Irish jeans. You know. Are those Irish jeans? These are Irish jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever left dirty dishes in your bedroom for over a week? Yes. Over a month. Okay, not <laughs> over a month for me, but over a week for sure. Definitely during the summer when I like sleep in till 12 and I'm just like, I don't need to. <laughs> that is summer. Not cleaning dishes. You know what's summer for me? <laughs> Video games. Oh my gosh. And surfing, because I'm going surfing tomorrow. I want to know how many fans out there have found moldy liquid in a cup in their room. Me! <laughs> I had apple cider once and I left it and then there was like white fuzz in it. It was gross. But I have never done that. I've done that. You guys are gross. I always drink my stuff before I leave it there for a month. Sorry. If I drink an entire drink glass of apple cider, I'm going to die. Have you ever eaten salted watermelon? So what is watermelon. that? Just like salt on watermelon? You just like take a slice and you're just like... Yep, that, that looks good. No, I've never done that. That, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> that, that's gross. Yeah, I, I don't know. No clue. Have you guys ever done it? Have you guys ever eaten salted watermelon? Comment down below. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I've never heard anyone have salted watermelon. I do know someone that would probably try it though because she likes salt on everything. Weird, but salty. <laughs> have you guys ever found bugs in your food while eating it? Yes, recently. I was eating artichoke and there was maggots in it. I don't know if I have, but Tyler, yeah, I've seen it in Tyler's. It's not, it's not in my food though. There was a whole maggot nest like in one of the leaves. Yeah, so. You've never found a bug in anything ever? I don't think I have. No, I don't think so. <laughs> there was like a bug in my cabin, but there was no food in there, so. <laughs> 
cricket in my Carolina cabin. Nothing in my food though. Have you ever played with dolphins? Yes! yes! When we lived in Texas, so like half of our age ago, <laughs> we, um, we went to Mexico and we played with dolphins and manatees. So we hung out with dolphins and we like, <laughs> we like got to ride them and it's fun. You know, like where you get the pictures where you like kissing them and stuff. It's cute. So that's what we did. And then we fed manatees. Have you ever caught a bee with your hands? I have. I have. Just making sure this is on But I did it. I didn't get stung. When I was super little, I was at our grandma's house and I was chasing a butterfly around the front yard because she had like a lot of flowers so there was always like bees and butterflies and so I was trying to catch the butterfly and I thought that I caught the butterfly when I caught the bee but I didn't realize I caught the bee until I felt the sting in my hand. <laughs> so I've never been stung by a bee. I've ever. been stung by so many bees, it's not even funny. I remember we were at like this summer camp thing and she got stung like right here. That was a yellow jacket, but yeah, we used to go on a lot of field trips for our school. It was like a summer camp thing our school did and we went to the pool and I had a yellow jacket land right here and someone saw it and said, don't freak out and I freaked out and, and it she's stung like, me. Ah. <laughs> and it stung me. Yes. Some fun bee stories. <laughs> Have you ever been stung by a bee? Comment down below. Yeah, tell us your bee sting stories. Bee sting stories. Bee sting yes. story. Have you ever wished you lived somewhere else? Keep it here. Yep. When we were in California, I wanted to stay there. But then we moved to Texas, I wanted to stay there. But then we moved to Florida, I wanted to stay there. Then we moved back, and now I want to stay here. <laughs> I wanted to stay wherever we lived. <laughs> want to go back to Florida <laughs> right now. I love California, don't get me wrong, but I really like Florida too. Messy. <laughs> so, yeah, I miss all my friends, and I loved the ocean there, and everything was just nice and peachy. What, what about the shots? The shots would be lame to have to take, but I think I would like to live in Florida still. Cause I don't, you don't have to take as many shots in California as you do in Florida, because I'm all caught up on my shots right now. But if we were in Florida, I would still have to take more shots. So Kayla would do the shots to go back to Florida. Yes. And you? I don't care. I just I wanna stay here forever. Mom! <laughs> have you guys ever gone surfing? I have! Yeah. When we first lived out here, I had a friend though and her and her dad really liked surfing and they brought me one day and it was really fun and that was the last time I surfed. <laughs> so. I think I, my first time I went surfing was in Florida mm -hmm. and I was like, I wanna go surfing today because we got some surfboards. I was like, yep, I wanna do this. So we went out to the waves and I saw this wave. Dad helped me, like he turned me around and pushed me but I still caught the wave and I stood up on the first wave I ever got and I'm proud. Yeah, I stood up on my like first or second wave too. Tomorrow I'm gonna start surfing, and each one's like two hours, so me and my dad think, well, dad's coming with me too. So we think that we're only gonna need like three or four practices, and then we should be good for surfing. Cause he's gonna teach us how to like read waves and stuff before they even come. And like, he's gonna teach us how to stand up and turn the board. I'm actually scared of surfing now because last time I tried to do like a boogie boarding and the wave caught the board and it jammed it in my gut and it hurt. So now I'm scared to go surfing. Oh, I remember I went surfing and the board went back on my face. Yeah. It was like, that's the worst. And I had a bloody nose. Yeah, that's the worst. Have you ever almost had a wild animal attack you? I have. I'm trying to think. It's been on this for a while. I'm gonna let Tyler answer and then I'll tell my story. Yeah, jellyfish. Did you get stung by a jellyfish? I didn't get stung by the jellyfish, but I got chased by a jellyfish. How does that even work? I was in the ocean and I saw a jellyfish and it was chasing me. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, we were on a Disney cruise and we were feeding uh, manatees, and uh, manta, manta rays, rays, manta rays, and <laughs> we were feeding it and one bit my finger. Yep. It bit my finger. Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> it has like a bunch of molars in its mouth. Like I looked at my thumb and it looked like a, you know those hammers with a bunch of spikes on them? It looked like a mini one of those just went like. They say they don't have teeth. But so. they, I'm pretty sure they have teeth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are well, they supposed to eat? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, my story happened 
while we were still in school. So it was here, it wasn't that long ago. Uh, I won't go too into detail because I do want to post it on my separate channel. So be on the lookout for that. But basically, long story short, I was taking the dogs for a walk and we were at the end of it and when we turned around, there was a coyote there and then I ran and it, I looked behind my shoulder and I don't know, it was just, it was scary. It looked like it was following us and then it turned around. I was still panicking. <laughs> I was like, because I'd never seen a coyote before, so. I haven't been on that trail since. I've heard them. <laughs> I think they were attracted to the dogs because they heard the high-pitched bark because they saw a horse on the trail, so. Have you ever slept all day? Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> Today I slept till 12. <laughs> it's not all day, all day is 24 hours. All day? Like that's when the sun is up? Have you slept all day, 12 hours, when the sun is up? Day. No. You haven't? No. I have. I'm not lazy. I am, so. I can't like recall it, but I know I have, you know? Like I have a feeling that I have. So, so. you don't know. So I, it, you could have not. I could have not. I'm pretty positive I've slept all day. I'm a really Jeez. lazy person. While walking through a parking lot, have you ever gotten into the wrong car? Yes, it was so embarrassing. I have never. We were in like second grade. It was our last year in California when we first lived out here. And we were coming back, like we were about to drive back home from school. And someone had the exact same car as us. And so mom and the other guy unlocked the car at the same time. So I thought it was that car. And I walk in, I'm like, this doesn't look like my car. Then I look to the other side and the kid in the other seat doesn't look like my brother. And then the guy was like, who are you? I was like, uh oh, and I ran. And she started crying. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. It was so bad. I was like, this doesn't look like my car. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah, I have never. Have you ever traveled to a foreign country? Yes. Yes. I have. Um, when we went to Mexico, we already brought that up. We went to Spain and we went, we went to a lot of countries, but. We went to Hawaii. <laughs> and then when I went to Catalina for a school field trip, there was like this random rock that I guess Spain owns. And it's right next to Catalina, it's like on the, it's really close to Catalina. So we canoed up to that rock and we're like, hey, we're in Spain. <laughs> Have you ever not taken a shower for a week? I don't. I might, when I, was a baby. I might have, I feel like I have the laziness part coming in for you. But I feel like you have too. Because on the cruise, the last cruise we went on, mm. yeah, you didn't take a shower for a week. I probably haven't, but I'm not sure. I'm like I'm like half and half. <laughs> Doesn't swimming count? No, what? Swimming pools have chlorine in them. You have to take a shower after you go swimming. They can still wash your clothes. No, they can't. I'm gonna go here because it's like 50-50. I don't know if I have, but I'm, like, I feel like I've probably been really close, but not for a solid week. <laughs> have you ever forgotten what day of the week it was? Oh yeah, during the summer always. Who doesn't forget what day of the week it is during the summer? I thought it was Monday today. Oh yeah, it's Tuesday. I, I feel like <laughs> every summer I forget what day of the week it is, so. Have you ever missed being in school while on summer break? Towards the end of summer break, I get pretty bored. I'm like, I just wanna be back in school with all my friends, I wanna learn math. Which is weird, because I hate math. <laughs> like at the beginning, I'm like, yes, I we're on summer sad. break. Because during school, you're not bored, you're always doing something. You're during bored in school? Okay, so. I'm always bored. Have you ever heard of something called math? I thought you liked math. I do like math, but it gets boring. So that was Never Have I Ever Summer Edition. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, leave down all your comments from like the video. Like what we asked. Yeah, all, your, all of our questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, bye!